The Ryman Auditorium and the Grand Ole Opry gave Nashville so much of its character and so much of its identity, a spiritual home for so many wayward hillbillies. The Ryman is a treasure chest. It truly is a treasure chest for so many memories. And it's, it's a place that so many lives have been changed. And that's what happens at church. I really can't think of a place that means more to a community than the Ryman means to Nashville. There are theaters all over this country, but in terms of the meaning to the community, it would be hard to find one that has more meaning, uh, that tells more about a community's heritage than the Ryman does for Nashville. All things spiritual need a home. And I, I, I think that I, not only is the Ryman the mother church of country music, but it is the absolute heart and soul of country music. It is, the, it is the home of the heart and soul of country music. It is where the spirit of country music rests. If country music had a Vatican, it would be the Ryman Auditorium. I think the energy in that building is just special. You can just feel the history in the walls. It's almost an eerie, really cool feeling. And you can, you can almost hear Patsy Cline's voice floating through there, even, even though it's empty. And there's just something about all that talent and all that energy and all that creative energy having been in that one building for so long, all at the same time, that makes it it's special. I can't describe it, but it's, it's a landmark uh, in music history, not just country music history. It was the thing to do, I mean, when you wanted to be on the biggest show that country music could be on. It was, that was the goal, that was the high goal, was to be on the Grand Ole Opry. To most of us, it's the mother church of country music, and knowing that Roy Acuff and, you know, Uncle Dave Macon and, you know, and Hank Williams actually stood on that stage, and folks like that, I mean, it's, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> There's something uh, about the rhyme and different from any stage that you'll ever appear on. I don't know what it is, but you get a different feeling when you walk on the stage of the Ryman than you do any place else on earth. It's special because everybody, everybody's played there. I mean, every, every person that I've ever idolized has, has played and stood on that spot. And uh, it is the epitome of country music and what it's all about. And, and it's just an incredible feeling in that room. It's magic. It's just definitely magic, and it's unbelievable. It's just overwhelming. It's, I, th I think most of it has to do with how many talented people have stood there. Plus, I think that uh, music, music has changed so much through the years, and uh, everything has changed except for that. Except for that, it's, it's, always, it's always been what it is. You know, the Ryman has always been the ultimate dream, I think, of, of every country artist. I think it's important because Nashville uh, need, needed to understand that part of its past. When we save these places and turn them into, into new places for the future, it can also help us think about where we want to go as communities as we move into that future. In 1994, Gaylord Entertainment Company invested $8.5 million to renovate the Ryman. After a dormant period of 20 years, she reopened her doors, boasting modern conveniences while retaining all of her former glory. Preservation is really about connecting with your past, but it's also about looking ahead to the future. Uh, we can read about history in books, but there's something special about being able to see the places where history happened. And that's important for people in a community today to understand that they uh, didn't get there just on their own, but there were a lot of people that went before them and that had a lot to do with making the community what it is today.
When you say Nashville, people think country music. The Ryman really is Nashville. And if, if the Ryman wasn't there, obviously country music would survive, but I don't think it'd be the same. It would be a, a horrible shame if everybody didn't get the opportunity or at least have that dream to be able to one day play the Ryman. The only other hall in America that I could possibly think to compare it to would be Carnegie Hall. It's the equivalent of playing Carnegie Hall to me. It is the place that I consider the most important and the most fun and the most meaningful and spiritual to play. When you step out onto the Ryman stage, it's like stepping out into the history of country music right there. You look at all the things that happened in the history of country music and so much of it happened right there and it's what history is made of. There's a presence here of all those people through those years that speaks to your heart somehow when you walk in that place. Even if there's nothing happening from the stage, there's just a, a feeling about it, a good, warm feeling. People think about the Ryman um, almost in spiritual terms. You know, it's just, it's the place where country music started. And that's what would have been lost if the Ryman had been torn down. Preservation is all about saving places that tell America's stories. And there's no place where you have a story that's more fascinating or uniquely American than the Ryman.